I guess Hammer is going to protect me. He yeah, I mean, it looks like there. he's sticking out there. He's got his ready on. Uh... I mean, as a tech marine, it's sort of similar to what I was talking about when Erlon Tyrion's is that it's pretty hard, you know, to be aggressive with him, but if you can get that critical mass of units up with him, just play defensive throughout the whole game and wait till the very end, we have your Dreadnoughts and Terminators up, you're basically already won because it's really easy to get that army out of the tech marine. No, I mean once, yeah, it's it's just a it's just a game of stalling with him. I mean, I I play tech marine primarily, and uh, so so often it's just like like you were saying with Wurgle against that Tyranid force. If you can just, oops, I forgot to hit ready. That's why we had a count down there. But I mean, if you can just hold on to that forty percent of the map, hold that natural power farm as long as you can, just plop a turret down and uh, mm -hmm. play defensively. Get to yeah, tier he's, three. He's, he... He really embodies like the defensive command of this game, Bloom's late game. But you know, again, if a turret this map against Eldar, I really wouldn't think that'd be wise because it's really easy to flank. I mean, unless he builds a turret like right at his base in the power farm, I guess that's okay. But if he does that, it'll be really easy for Virgil to control the rest of the map because that turret will only really cover that one power and that one victory point. And you really can't control a game with just two points. Strategic location spotted. <laughs> <laughs> what do you require? Hammer is probably the least renowned are for his manners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll admit, I have some rage moments against some units, but. I try to keep it civil in torments. No, I mean, if you drop, if someone drops the have fun, just drop the have fun. I mean, yeah. No reason not to, but. All right. Well, pretty tense matchup. It's the finals. Let's see. No, it's on. it's it's the finals, and uh, Wurgle and Hammer have already faced off several times in the in uh, this tournament, and uh, you know, in the past few tournaments recently. So. Yeah. So we see these pretty standard opening by Hammer. You know, double scout, one tactical. Uh, the scouts uh, won't do so much as kill units, rather than stall them and try to like, scout, well, yeah, scout and uh, have some map control going on. The only way they really do stuff is we have to get upgrades in. You don't want really to upgrade your scouts right off the bat, rather than, uh, rather than get more units out. Got space range, you need, that, you need the extra manpower to be able to capture points. Because with this, these squads, you can't capture points and defend at the same time. Generator operational. I walk in enemy space marines are claiming a victory. Alright, so I guess uh, Wurgle's going for the shurikens. Nice looking destructor on those scouts. I wonder why he's going for... Oh, oh no, Rangers! Out to get... Okay. Yeah, I was finding shurikens would be a little odd choice because. It wouldn't be odd, but I think Rangers would be a little better. Yeah, I mean, as we're seeing, the garrisons are. Not hesitating to get their use here. Adding um, so we see a triple cap of the Holy Hammer. Yeah, that's yeah. actually pretty surprising considering uh, Eldar, we're playing yeah. Eldar versus Tech Marine right here. <laughs> we were just talking about how Tech Marine is uh, the embodiment of the defensive commander, but going right on this offensive with the VPs yeah. and uh, pushing some serious oh, map control. I mean, it's a bit luck based to begin against the Eldar, you know, like, for example, if your Banshees end up flying scouts instead of tacticals. Right. You know, you want your tacticals to fight the Guardians, not the Banshees, so. I, I guess it's kind of luck to draw about where you, which you went where. So, uh, scouts already have one sergeant up, uh, putting some pressure on those, uh, on those Rangers. Rangers just, just turn around and shoot again. Yep. Oh, they actually messed up the shot. And, uh, Rangers, fire, fire. Ugh. Rangers should be dominating scouts, but he's seeing a little too timid with them. Yeah, I mean, he's just scared. I mean, we've seen uh, we've seen some nasty grenades coming off the of Holy Hammer recently yeah, in these he, last few Rangers matches. Rangers are quick units, and they can even connect shot to get out of there if he right. really needs it. Right. was floating a little power. Well, no, not not in that much record. He, if he doesn't build another unit, he can get another... Uh, Another uh, general. You might me. Oh man, general. there goes the mastercrafted oh, wow. bolter taking out a ranger right there. It's, it's a pretty good upgrade against Eldar because it's he's really it's, it's 
You really, it's really a good snipe. No, it's pretty uh, much, you know, uh, we'll take a model off of any of these squads early game. And uh, that yeah, suppression special. on demand is invaluable against Banshees. Yeah. Uh, so Virgil, I guess he just wants to tech up. Yeah, exactly. it looks like he started to purchase another Ranger and uh, decided against it. So, Hammer's doing a very good job holding map control. I mean, as Space Marines, he's looking very good at having lots of map control against Eldar. No, I mean, this is a perfect opening for him. He hasn't had to worry about his power farm at all yet. Has the full farm and a second node up right now. And uh, we'll be able to truck ahead into Tier 2 uh, relatively easily here. Uh, yep. Holy Hammer hasn't been putting too much pressure on, so uh, he hasn't had to upgrade his scouts and stuff too much beyond that initial Sarge. Uh, the tactical is up top, actually down bottom, I guess. Yeah, on the east side of the map. Like I said, these rangers just go scout hunting right now. He's yeah, I mean he's been using them. Scouts with a couple of shots. He has to retreat the whole army, basically. Yeah, force those scouts off the field, and then uh, then you can engage those tacks and uh, tech marine with impunity. These rangers about to get out of position by snipe. Yep. Yep. This isn't one shot, but... Oh man, but uh, yeah, it leaves that model so low that it's pretty difficult for it to get out of there. Here comes the Eldar, without mask and, uh, Here comes the s s grenade spike, nice evade on that, and uh, charging in. One Banshee goes down, uh, scouts are going to escape it looks like. No so shotguns coming up on either of those, because Holy Hammer has already hit the tier 2 button. Virgo, and, uh, I'm actually getting more power if he has, but he doesn't have enough node to build power. So. Yeah, he lost uh, lost that second node. He's got so much wreck sitting around him. He's 700 wreck right now. Another shield down bottom. Yeah, those, those guardians are just going to be hanging around, uh, forcing those scouts to either just not engage or go the long way around here. Yeah, so... Virgo's definitely not putting as much map control as he should be. Against Space Marine, it means nothing too game changing at this point, but. As ever, yeah, no, I mean, I feel like he either should have gotten uh, gotten a second squad of Guardians or gotten a Shuriken Cannon or something. Yeah, I mean, I, you don't want Space Marines to have this sort of economy because you really don't want them you know, just to have a free ride and see free. What you want to do is really just, you know, force them to. Uh, as much money as they can, never allow them to get to tier 3. Adding support structure. Keep the pressure up, basically. Yeah, I mean, most of the time by this point in the game, I've at least purchased shotguns on one or both of my scouts and trying to keep the hero and banshees away and everything else. Yeah, but Virgil's playing very passively. Not not very good, you know, for a couple, first couple engagements, so yeah. never really got the uh, momentum he needs to. Support structure complete. Razorbacks coming out. If Viral can get Warspite out, Warspite and Banshee's like, oh, I'll kill Razorbacks. Especially with Holy Hammer's army, they have nothing to counter it. No, I mean, they've got nothing to stall those Banshees out right now. And, yeah, uh, he has a, he has, yeah, he has a Bolter in his Tech Marine, but that won't really stop him from killing Razorback. Banshee's finally getting one generator kill here. Hammer getting ready for the grenade. Oh, he doesn't kill the generator, but he avoids the grenade. Oh man, and takes two oh, losses anyways. Oh. Uh -oh. Might be able to get that grenade, taking out two of those models. Oh, oh and the Banshee's gonna go down to the Razorback. Oh, wow, the Storefield yeah, saved her, actually. And uh, we can see right now that Banshee uh, gaining health as she gets shot right there with the inverted, uh, with the inverted damage. injecting medicine to her. That's what that distort field does, it turns bullets into pills. <laughs> well, we see Brightly is out. A little odd. I mean, yeah, it, like it you said, I feel like. Back, but it won't really do much after that. Yeah, I mean, like you said, those war spires, I feel like, would have been the prime choice right here. Razorback getting that extra armor, trying to make it a little tougher to take out here. And the war spires will also. They, they tear scouts to shreds, like, absolutely. Right, I mean, it just shuts down uh, map control for Space Marine. Those scouts can't roam around uh, uncontested. Although I feel like that's what the Rangers should have been doing, is controlling those scouts throughout this game, but they really just haven't had the opportunity to. Yeah, they really didn't, like, not once have they really got, like, an opportunity to drive off the army. So, uh, this is, you know, a good position, 
both luck and and good skill by uh, Hammer. I'm not find that right position at the right time. So Scout's just giving Banshees the run around. You see Wraith Lord coming up, which as a Tech Marine, I mean, you use Orb of the Onside to counter it. But no, I mean, Walkers, uh, as a Tech Marine, Walkers aren't really as much of a threat as you would think because he can just kind of stand between the Walker and your army and really just intimidate it before, uh, before yeah. it moves in. Especially That's with true, a Librarian on the field, I mean, he can just get a uh, Veil of Time on him and chase down any vehicle and drop a drop a point-blank orb right there. Yeah, the Wraith Warrior does have good range firepower with his upgrade. Oh, the Razorback. Razorback nice getting a little brazen there, but uh, that Librarian's going to be able to shut down that range fire. And uh, actually take out a couple of models as well. Wraith Warrior's up, and... It basically, his only counter would be missile launcher attacks. Unless he wants to get tier 3, which he's close yeah, to. I mean, Wordle and Power by her hand, actually. He did get a second gem for him. Yeah, I mean, he can go tier 3 and get a Predator before yeah, long. He's got plenty of wreck, a uh, huge power income, and uh, he can probably just stall out here and wait to get that tank on the field. Yeah, I mean. This, this is like the position you want to be in space range, you know? Even if he didn't have this much victory points, even the victory points are swapped right now. He'd I mean, still be in good position because of how much resources he has going into tier 3. Doesn't really look good for Virgil. No, I mean, not at all. Power, as a tech marine, he's going to be spamming he he's got, predators. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got few VPs, he's got a smaller tech advantage, I mean, he's got tech disadvantage, and, uh, you know, as far as map control goes, he's got two pretty injured squads on the field right now. It can be very disheartening to, uh, <laughs> as a, like, LR player or any race, you know, to see this, like, just calling after calling a Fenred, Terminators, and Predators. No, that's I mean, like the epitome of that. That's, that's like the optimized goal for Space Marines to get all that stuff out. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, once you hit tier 3, I mean, you can just start bringing the hurt in a very real way. Um, Tech Marine just hanging out. I thought he might have been upgrading the orb, but he does not have it right yet. The Warlock actually in this matchup isn't really doing much. We never upgrade him. In my opinion, you never have a commander that you don't upgrade the whole game. It's just going to be useless. Yeah, I mean, that's just a basic, you know. Right. Scouts hiding right in that garrison, negating both the Banshees and the Warlock right now. Another wave will coming out, but Predator is basically going to counter all of them. Yeah, I mean... Wurgle needs to have, I mean, as you said, I mean, buying that Bright Lance instead of those War Spiders, I think, really, uh, really just didn't work out at all. It hasn't put yeah. any pressure on that Razorback, really, at all. The Razorback's just been engaging it time and time again without much and issue. With, and with the uncompetition he had with the Banshee Ranger, which is an incredibly defensive position, where he has War Spiders just go in and teleport and start, you know, being offensive and trying right. to kill stuff. That's trying to let him and mess up and come to you. I play like Holy Hammer, it's pretty hard for him to get caught just run in and let him die. Try to show himself. And, uh, you know, really, I mean, in about, in about another minute he can build another one if he wanted to. Yeah, I mean, when two brothers come out, here, it's... I'm sorry to say, that's feeling like a good game. You, you can't really come back with two Predators, unless you have some serious AV and you really get killed. Right, and here comes the first the Predator, Lord. engaging that Wraith Lord, who's uh, just walking right by it. And uh, that Predator's just gonna kite it all day long. Yeah. Oh, and there comes the last cannon, gonna make sure it work both of these uh, Wraith Lords. Yeah. I don't even think that one's even gonna get out of this here. Is, it, you can run the base and kill it. I mean, Bright Lance, it's at the base, but. Yeah. This is. This is. Uh, I think this is Virgil's you know, death note right there. He doesn't really have much account for this huge SM army. No, I mean, and, and, and Holy just managed to 
get those first few engagements and lock down the map so nicely in the early game. I mean, it's very rare that you see Space Marines, I feel like, win with more than 400 VPs. Yeah, I mean... Oh, here comes the marked target on that Wraith boy. Marked target here with the Predator. It's a yeah. shot. It's dead. Yeah, I think Pharaoh just lost. Yeah. Well, oh man, that is indeed. So, yeah, that, that game, Virgil just never got like the momentum he needed to. No, like, I mean so... normally you see Eldar just uh, just running all over the place and uh, giving giving mm -hmm. Space Marines the run around, and he just really never did that. Yeah, like his first couple engagements just wasn't what he uh, wanted to have, and then after that, his he never really you know, uses Rangers to go scout hunting. His Rangers got driven off because the Tech Marine found them. You know, pretty the positioning by Virgil just wasn't what he needed to do to get that map control. I mean, he just never found. And he never, after that, he never had the army to really be offensive and just kind of snowballed into Holy Hammer's favor. Oh man, so uh, now sitting 3-0 for Holy uh, for Holy Hammer. Yeah, he just needs to win one more time, and that's it. <laughs> Virgil was a little bit <laughs> complaining. Yeah. And it's uh, uncontrollable race for I never really experienced that bug. I don't know why people, people do, but even if it was, I mean, he was pretty much done in that game. Oh, man. So, yeah, looking at the scoreboard, just very one sided. Only yeah, six I, I units think going down for Holy Hammer. If he wants to play Eldar, he's really switch commanders. Warlock is just not very effective against Space Marines. I mean, you can get his Merciless Witchblade upgrade and, like, his Champions Robe of Heart of Darkness, but that's very expensive. And even yeah. then, he's not the greatest. I mean, he's great for dealing with assaults, but, uh... uh War know. Spires would be much better at finding scouts and dealing with them and Twill Map and Farseer. Just, she's really dominant with Space Marines with her War Gear upgrades and Ghost Home and such. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's uh, when I'm fighting Eldar, that's always, like, what I dread to see, is seeing the Farseer, Autark, and Banshees running around. It's just such such a brutal combination. Yeah, but, you know, with with Virgil's composition, he really, he really didn't have any units to support his Banshees. Just, like, Banshees alone aren't enough to get in with the Tech Marine and Tacticals.